So now we're on part 16 of the Wellington build. Um, in this one, spray up the props. Uh, I had a comment from Harry Houdini Models. I talk about that a couple of minutes in once I finish spraying the props. Um, so thank you for your little tip that you gave me on, I think it was part 12 or 13, when I was spraying the bombs up and having not much luck with the uh, yellow paint on that. Um, after I've done the props on this, uh, I did all the final assembly, so all the small bits that I'd left separate to paint, like the wheels, uh, landing gear, uh, props, I can't remember what else was, exhaust, I think I said that one. So all the little bits I hadn't stuck on, there's only one bit I haven't put on left, and that is the Astrodome, which will go on at the very last point, that's the last thing I'd do um, when I finish the model. Um, anything else? Oh, one thing I will say, um, the landing gear, um, I'd probably, next time I do this kit, and I'm going to give you guys advice as well, uh, to actually build it when you're building the model. So I, I put that back plate uh, bulkhead in place um, on the front of the engine nacelle, and then built the nacelles up around it, because I didn't think it would be too hard to mask up. Turns out it makes it a right pain to try and fit the landing gear. I actually cut it out of the video completely, because I spent far too long on it and I don't think anyone wants to watch me basically fanny about trying to uh, fit the landing gear so there's probably a couple of ways thinking about it you could do it you could leave that bulkhead off until you've painted the entire model and then fit your landing gear fit that in place and then fit the uh, glue on the over cowling part as well so that's the whole engine assembly goes over the top of that and uh, that'll be one way of doing it while still managing to leave the landing gear off um, the only other way is just to glue it in place and then hand paint it or mask up the area and spray it up um, in situ uh, once you've uh, completed the model um, and go into the glossy stages. So at the end of this one, I didn't show it because I didn't think you want me to see, see me uh, just spraying gloss, but I have gloss varnished it and it's currently sat over here. I don't want to touch it at the minute because I'm letting the gloss varnish cure for a bit of time, uh, I normally leave it 24 hours before I hit the decals onto it. So anyway, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment back down below if you like the video, um, and enjoy. So uh, a guy left a comment on part 12's video, um, 
his name is Harry Houdini Models. Um, so it's a bit of a shout out to him. Normally I'd try hand painting the uh, yellow using Vallejo model colour. Uh, yellow, uh, normally use RLM 04 I think it is, or FS33655. Um, and I normally paint it on by hand. Um, and you saw me struggling to spray the bombs uh, yellow as well. So he suggested that I spray the props white or prime them white and then spray the yellow one instead. Um, so as you see in the video, what I actually did was I primed them using my normal mix I've done of the dark grey, so black primer plus uh, sort of the grey primer. Um, primed it using that. And then I just used the Vallejo Model Air White, just sprayed the tips of it. And because I haven't had much luck spraying the uh, yellow colour uh, from Vallejo, um, I bought Tamiya XF3, the flat yellow. Um, yeah, it, it seemed to spray really quite nice. I only took one or two real gentle coats and then I just masked up the uh, the tips of the prop and then sprayed the rest uh, a dark black grey colour. So just flay a black mix with a bit of um, lighter grey colour just so, so it's not so black and striking so yeah thank you for the comment and yeah it seemed to have worked so spot on anyway you know what time it is time to fast forward Wow. 